Okay, so here's where we left off since the last video. Um, this is going to be my final image that I want to use for my assignment. And you're going to make sure that you save it. And then you're going to save it out as a TIFF. Okay, and you're going to uncheck this layer box and it will name it. I saved it in the previous video, but I wanted to review, so I'm going to replace. It should look familiar. Make sure you do LZW and then click OK. All right, and then if you remember, the, like our TIFF needs to be 300 dpi um, CMYK uh, and a TIFF and want us to open after you save out your TIFF open your TIFF here's my TIFF right you can tell this is my Photoshop file has layers this is my TIFF it does not we're gonna go Make sure you're on your TIFF file and you're going to go to image mode CMYK. And then you will save. I'll save it and then close it. Um, we're going to hop into InDesign. So part of your assignment, right, the image that you create I want you to place it into an InDesign document. Um, so I've, since we did this last week, you can look at the videos that I made last week. I like to set up your document. Um, it's a letter size sheet of paper. And I placed my text boxes. Um, I want you to either write, um, a story or a memory to go along with your image or you can select music lyrics or you can select poetry or you can use um, your favorite verse okay but you have um, some kind of text so I basically um, looked up this is one of my favorite poems so I looked up the text and now I'm going to place the image that I just made from Photoshop into my InDesign layout. Right? If you remember, if you want to place something to the back, you can. This image should be large enough for you to either have the option of making it full bleed. Remember full bleed, that means that the image is actually running off the edge of the page, right? I'm checking my percentage. I've got until 100. And now I'm going to design a little bit of my page. So I kind of want it to run to the edge as much as I can. Um, I want to use a couple rectangles. The title. I want it to be in the front. Okay. 
feel free to select a fun or not fun, whichever you prefer, typeface, whatever one you think will go with the tone of your flyer. Um, I just saw something. cool in InDesign is you can have different text boxes if you would like more control over your type I want this type just to be the title I want the title much bigger and I want it in white So if you're not sure what to try, just kind of play. You can look at different um, magazines. You can look up, try to get ideas, uh, books. I want by William Shakespeare. Alright, I'm going to add a couple more elements here. So, last week we kind of we're now exploring a little bit more in you know, design. Um, so, if you can. You know, make boxes. I know most of you guys did this for your flyer, but you can select that box and you can actually add an effect. It's the same effects that were available to you in Photoshop are available to you here. Um, if you are going to use different effects, please make sure that your type is still readable. Okay, and sometimes we forget that. You get so excited about all the different things you can do, but don't forget that your type should be readable at the end of the day. I want this at the bottom, and I do want. So I'm hoping yours looks nothing like mine. Because it should be unique yours. But hopefully this gives you a couple ideas. And of course, don't forget your poem. I think I will put it there.
Okay, so we're playing around with InDesign a little bit more and definitely more Photoshop. You can also add your own color swatches, don't forget. Um, but I wanted to, I really like the poppy colors. Mm. You can keep it at normal, just make it a little transparent. And it will allow for your type show up. I'm going to make this a little darker. Okay, and we're going to save in InDesign. I want to just double check to see what it looks like in preview. Pretty cool. Save. And so perfect. All right. I'm gonna save it and I did, wonderful. For this version, you're going to go to file and you're going to export it as a JPEG, okay? Make sure your file name has your first initial last name and then click save and then click export and it will save your JPEG into your folder wherever you keep your work files and you are going to this week upload your jpeg into a discussion box in a discussion for our class to look at um, so you can show your work and give feedback on you know um, your other classmates flyer okay um, but look at like read up in the details in the assignment uh, section. But you know, feel free to reach out to me if you need anything else. Feel free to rewatch these videos. But um, you know, we'll start kind of building our skills um, from from here. All right, I'll talk to you soon.